Greetings, everyone. I am Dr. Wolf, and I'm curious about the direction that My Little Pony is going in the near future. There was a new Hello Pinkie Pie short released called Bring Home the Fun. It's incredibly short, and it's basically about, oh, you have to stay inside, but there's plenty of fun activities to do. This is very obviously meant to be spreading awareness. I get that. And recently they've come up with many more such advertisements using Pony Life characters, trying to keep My Little Pony in the public mind, especially when it comes to kids suffering from cabin fever having to stay in all the time. And yes, it's not the first time we've seen this sort of thing from Hasbro. I mean, I still remember Pony Life characters being used to spread awareness through China. But what made me want to make a video today is not just about Hello Pinkie Pie trying to spread awareness, but I'm also noticing that the My Little Pony stop-motion shorts have stopped getting released. So this suggests to me that there's a bit of a shift with Hasbro, as with many other entertainment-centric companies throughout the world. I mean, we've seen a lot of movies get postponed for many months, if not until next year, because of what's going on in the world right now. And we haven't seen any kind of news about this Pony Life show when it's coming out, anything more about what it's actually about. So it still suggests to me that everything is getting delayed. And seeing a Hello Pinkie Pie short like this, which is, again, very short, that's all about trying to teach kids awareness, it's a bit of a transition. But another reason I wanted to make this is because I think this is actually kind of a good direction in how they are presenting things. Because when you're watching this short, it's about rain. It's about staying in because of rain. And I'm sure that a few people out there might be thinking, well, this is kind of avoiding the subject. Some people may even think this is a dishonest way of trying to teach kids. But in my opinion, I think this is a better avenue to go down. Because how do you teach a young child about a pandemic? How do you tell them that going outside and playing with friends and putting your hands on every surface and forgetting to wash them might actually be dangerous. How do you explain that to a young child? In this way, using rain, this is something far simpler for a young child to understand that it's important that you stay inside and it's important that you find ways to keep yourself busy. I think it is a better way of teaching, much like with how, say, Sesame Street approached the subject of death many decades ago. You have to present it in a way that a child can easily understand and even relate to. And yes, this is kind of avoiding the subject directly, but honestly I think it is a better way to approach it when it comes to a young child. And even though I do question some of the motivations behind some of these advertisements, oh, you really should spend more time on our app, kids, at least I can appreciate the end result. That it is helping young children understand, okay, I may not know what's really going on in the world right now, but I can understand, I can make some artwork, or I can check in with a friend through a phone, or come up with some other kind of wacky activity. <laughs> Although I do have to mention, Gummy's drawing of Pinkie Pie, you ever get the sense that maybe the animators here are taking just a little bit of influence from, say, fan creations over the years? Because, yeah, this does remind me of a few pieces of brony artwork over the years. Wouldn't you say? All in all, though, even though we're not seeing any more of the stop-motion shorts that have been coming out every Friday for a few months now, and seeing this new Hello Pinkie Pie short, which, again, with how short it is, I have to think this is very likely something that they thought of perhaps only a week ago and had to throw together very quickly. And even though I may have to question some of the motivations behind Hasbro executives who want to try to push this angle, at least I can appreciate the end results. But then, what do each of you think? 
Given that the stop-motion shorts seem to have come to an end, and teaching kids about staying inside, and I'm still getting the sense that they're going to be pushing back pretty much everything they've been planning entertainment-wise, because again, we still have no idea when this Pony Life show is coming out. What are your thoughts on this new direction that My Little Pony is taking for the near future? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, because as always, I am Dr. Wolf, and I look forward to hearing from you.